Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading that is dedicated to the beautiful sign of Sagittarius. My dear friend Sagittarius, um, this here is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So it's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you uh, would like to have your own reading, you're not quite sure if this is your relationship or not, um, all of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. You can also contact me and it'll be my great um, pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it is always and greatly appreciated, and I do thank you in advance. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. This is all about cheating, so is he or she cheating on you right now as we speak? Let's go and see. I'm using three different decks, so I have two oracles, I have a Lenormand, and I am going to finish it off in sweetness with a little bit of a heart and soul. So let's begin over here with a Lenormand. I am going to remove for the moment the two other decks, and let's begin. Let's go see what Lenormand has to say. I have a well, I have a tree, I have the towers, I have time, I have a man bridges, we have a cross, we have a letter, we have some flowers, we have a ring, we have a boat, we have some dice, oh la la. I have a mountain and I have a rider. So, okay. I can clearly say that right now, I know that your uh, relationship is really uh, um, topsy-turvy, it's going up, it's going down, it's really like a roller coaster, but I, I say mostly maybe you're more into the down than onto the up. It's been a while that you've had the up of the roller coaster. Um, I feel as though there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of frustration, I feel like there's some accusations every once in a while, but I can honestly say, um, now this is depicted as being a man here, it could be a woman, but your partner right now, um, I feel your partner has not cheated. Um, I feel as though it might be something else. I feel like the relationship might not be really strong right now. I feel like um, because of the fights, I feel as though there's a lot to work within this relationship. There's still a lot to do. I feel like the love is still there, but the love is just slowly kind of dissipating, if you will. Um, I think this relationship to begin with, whenever you did get in the relationship, I think it was a little bit about a flip of a coin. Uh, not always that sure, you know, is this going to work or not, but you know, you're really interested, so let's give it a try. And so um, you gave it a try, and well, now you have a bunch of, you know, things that are making, you know, making you think that they're cheating. So something might be suspicious. Maybe they're hiding some information from you. What I really believe is happening. It's just, as I said, I feel like the love is sl slowly going away. I feel like you are putting up some barriers, not only you, but your partner is also um, slowly uh, putting some barriers up and it's becoming more and more difficult to discuss. It's becoming more difficult to try and pierce that barrier, to try and listen because in each of our minds, so, you know, you're on one side of the field and he or she is on the other side of the field and and you're just not able to come to that middle point because you both have your ideas and then you have your hurt and you have your frustration. It's really difficult to get there. So this is what I'm seeing here with the bridges is that it's not really easy. I feel as though you do, although it was um, a flip of the dice, I feel like you do still have a good grounding in this relationship. I feel like I said it is simply, you know, slowly leaving. I do feel that there is something left that you can do. Um, I feel as though if you don't get out of this cycle, though, I feel like you're stuck into this cycle of, of accusations and not really trusting, and you need absolutely to get out of this cycle if you do want this relationship to continue. Um, that being said, you are going to be receiving some type of message, um, the message being it could be different things. It could just be a discussion that you're going to be having with your partner about the situation at hand. Um, maybe if you're not able to verbally speak with them because of X and Y reasons, maybe you should, you know, write a letter or send um, an email or something. Another way to communicate sometimes verbally is just not the answer. Um, I feel as though the relationship you're both at the bottom of this well here. You need to get out of that well. There is some light. There is there. There's a lot of 
there's going to be a lot of work. Okay, there are really two options. I feel as though this relationship, it is possible for this relationship to grow. It is possible to have something come out of it if everybody puts the efforts into it. Right now, with the Norman, quite frankly, I see as the ship is slowly going away. And if nothing is changing within this relationship, if you keep it as it is, um, with the frustration and, you know, the, the non-trust and the non-communication, this relationship is going to come to an end. So if you do want to have any type of change whatsoever, you do need to start um, working on this right away. So you need to start communicating um, if you want to get out of this cycle. And really, it's a question of time um, before any of this really happens, before you get any answers out of this. But as for the main question here within the reading, um, here, I say it's a no. Okay, so my dear friend Sagittarius, I do not see, I do not denote any cheating going on. Um, if you do still have some doubts, once again, you can always contact me. I'm sorry, that is not what I wanted. Your cards are over here. We're going to move on over to the um, to the lovers here. We have. Um, you need to take a part from this. Um, you need to take a part from your behavior, uh, not from your behavior, but from your partner right now. Um, you need to take maybe a little break. You need to figure things out. You need to assess where you're going. But you also see, I'm getting it here, you need to give your relationship a chance. You need to work on that partnership. You need to make the effort. Great love is completely worth um, taking those steps and being guided towards. But you need to have that conversation. So you really need to just sit down. You need to wipe that slate clean. And you need to really figure out what it is, what's going on, and how can we move on from this um, and just leave this as past, uh, you know, forgive and let's move on by. Um, so really, you do need to speak up, figure out what your emotions are, what their emotions are, where they're standing with all of this, where you still want to go with all of this, and what is possible. As for the angels over here, they are telling you, if you believe it is not the right time a year from now and wait. So here's your time. Uh, within about a year from now, you are going to have the um, the answer to this relationship. So is this relationship going to survive or not? It's not going to be because of cheating. I did not see any cheating going on. But any other um, problem that is within this relationship, that if it is unresolved within a year from now, you are going to see the answer. If you do believe, okay, if you do believe, uh, then there can be a positive outcome. That being said, right now is just not the time. The angels are saying to wait, and it is not the right time to do anything, to do any type of movement or any breaking up or anything that you would be unsure of, um, that you're not comfortable with. You might end up regretting it. So um, as for the reading here, no cheating. You really need to sit down at a table, figure everything out before moving on. Within about a year from now, everything should be um, settled as for the positive or for the negative, depending on the um, behaviors and depending on what it is that you are going to do in order to solve this and what your partner is willing to do in order to solve this situation also. So to finish it up on a beautiful light note, we have close your eyes and feel yourself embraced by angelic wings of light. Feel the light dissolve your fears, your concerns, and your doubts. And fill your heart with peace, with joy. Everyone is safe. All is well. There is absolutely no need for any concern. And this does conclude your reading. If you do have any questions, if you... Um, if you're unsure, you would like to assess your personal situation with your information, I do offer some readings. Um, they are listed right below the video here if you do want to take a look. You can also contact me. It will be my pleasure to assist you. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. I wish you a beautiful day. I thank you for being there. And um, many blessings. I will see you tomorrow with a new message.